Okay, so you need your sheet of blank sheet of paper, portrait style, which means long ways, and a pencil. We're gonna start with a curved line going from left to right on your page. And notice the spacing. I have just a little bit of space on each side from the edge of the page. So that's how big your line should be. Stretch it from one side of the page to the other side. Now right under that curved line, I'm gonna do a vertical straight line on each side. And now I'm going to continue extending that line down. I'm going to curve it towards the bottom for each side. And I'm going to connect those two lines at the bottom to make a point. So you should have two curved lines going towards each other to create a point. Now let's go back to the top of the acorn and I'm gonna create the acorn shell. And I'm gonna make a similar line to the first one I did and draw, curve that line going up and away from the first one to create some space. And I'm just gonna curve that line around and come back down. And as I come down, I'm gonna get closer to that first line. So this is what you should have. Your acorn should be taking up the whole sheet of paper. Let's come to this top and create a stem. I'm gonna draw a curved line going up. And my curved line is almost touching the top of the paper. And I'm gonna bring another curved line down. Now let's create texture inside this, this space of the acorn shell. So with my pencil, very lightly, I'm gonna draw some curved lines kind of creating a bumpy texture on the acorn shell. And I'm just gonna go up and down, up and down, all the way around, or all the way across the shell. And I'm gonna keep making rows of those curved lines. Each time you go across, you're gonna move down and create another row of that bumpy line. And try to make sure your lines are touching the line right above it. So you're closing up each space. Here I'm making very small, very small spaces, very small shapes. This is our texture for the acorn shell. I'm zooming in just so you can see that each line Every time I go up, I'm touching the line right above it. So I'm closing in that space. I'm gonna create a little texture on the stem with a zigzag line. Make it look a little rough. All right. Now let's draw the face of the acorn. This is gonna be a cute little acorn, or you can make a, a sad acorn, a happy acorn. 
We're gonna start off with the eyes. And if you would like to express a different emotion, you can go ahead and do that. But for the basic shape of the eyes, I'm gonna do a circle, a large circle on each side. And notice that I'm drawing lightly with my pencil. I'm gonna do a smaller circle on the inside. I'm gonna move that circle to the middle of the eye, the center of the eye. And then two smaller circles underneath. Kind of creating the highlight that we talked about last week when we learned about value. The highlight is where the light is reflecting off the object. Here for the mouth, I'm gonna draw a curved horizontal line. And then a curved U-shaped line underneath to create a mouth. I'm gonna add two more curved lines for the tongue because my acorn is happy and smiling. And that's about it for the drawing part. Now we can start coloring. I'm gonna start off with a black crayon to color the eyes. And I'm outlining all of the shapes first. Take your time when, when you're coloring. There's one eye, now let's go to the next eye. Outline the larger circle and the smaller circles on the inside. And that's going to be our little highlight or the reflection of light on the eye. Now let's outline the mouth. And the tongue. And color in the space around the tongue. This is what you should have so far. Now let's start coloring the acorn shell. I have two browns, a dark brown and a lighter brown. I'm gonna start off with a darker brown and use the techniques that I taught you guys, last week about value, I'm gonna outline all of the lines that I drew first. So go ahead and get your crayon. And if you only have one shade of brown, then go ahead and outline your texture first by pressing down hard. You're gonna create a dark value
Now that I'm at the bottom of my acorn shell, I'm going to outline that bottom line going across. Outline that top line, top curve line. And go ahead and outline the stem. Now I'm going to take my lighter brown and color in that whole area. I'm starting off pretty light. But as I get around the side of the acorn shell, I'm going to add a little pressure to make it darker. So go ahead and make that just a little darker to create some depth on in our acorn. We can use color to create depth and make it look kind of like two dimensional or three dimensional. It doesn't look as flat. This allows your acorn to actually look round. I'm coming in with my darker brown just to make those sides a little darker. And as you can see, the darker areas are where the shadows are. Remember we learned about that last week that with value, we have the shadows, then we have the highlighted area or the mid-tone where it's not too dark and not too light. Now I'm taking a green and this is optional. You can color your whole acorn brown. I've seen some acorns that are like a dark green. So I'm gonna take my green first and then I'll go over it with the brown.
As I get towards the bottom, I'm gonna apply a little bit more pressure near the bottom of the acorn. And this is creating that shadow where the light is not hitting. So it's gonna be a little darker at the bottom. And then towards the top underneath the acorn shell, I'm gonna make that a little darker to create like a shadow effect. Okay, I have all of my shadows and highlights going on. Now I just need to fill in that empty space where the tongue is. I'm gonna get a, get a red crayon, I'm sorry, and color in that area. And my acorn is complete. We have our value at the top and the bottom. We have our texture and the acorn shell, our highlights and the eyes. I hope you guys were able to follow along and you had fun. See you next